In today's tutorial, I want to talk about a platform called SEMrush or SEMrush. Uh, essentially, it is a uh, SEO uh, analytics, paid traffic, you know, paid search kind of market research platform where you can kind of get a lot of in-depth information both as to how your website is doing and as to how your competitors are doing. Um, it kind of gives you a broad overview as well as letting you get nitty gritty into both uh, organic and paid search uh, data. So I'm gonna log in. <clears throat> and in this tutorial, I wanna go over specifically uh, the keyword magic tool. Um, and so the keyword magic tool is just a basic way to do uh, pretty essential keyword research. Uh, so I'm going to go to keyword analytics. And again, maybe your uh, drop down might be a little different here, but basically you can uh, sort all of these tools by kind of what you're trying to do, whether it's, you know, you're working on ads or social media um, or, you know, competitive research. I'm just going to go back to the SEO toolkit. Actually, that's project. I don't want that. I want to go to all tools. Go back to keyword analytics and the keyword magic tool. <clears throat> and so essentially it's pretty it's a pretty basic setup. So let's say, you know, there is a specific keyword that I am trying to win on. You know, let's use something like video marketing, right? So pretty pretty broad, pretty generic keyword. Uh, it's not necessarily gonna give me the most qualified traffic, but you know, it's broad enough where I think I can uh, get a good amount of information on the specific keyword as well as kind of get into the nitty gritty of, you know, maybe looking at the actual questions people are asking or really like where their pain points are really cropping up. So right off the bat, I get to see that video marketing, you know, has a, you know, average search volume uh, per month of 4,400 searches. The keyword difficulty is 71. Again, this is on a hundred point scale. Cost per click is around $32, which is pretty high. Um, and then competition, again, is around 0.69 um, based on all like paid paid competition. There are 3.2 billion results in the search engine results page. So again, there's a lot of, a lot of people creating content around the keyword phrase uh, video marketing. So essentially what I wanna do is I just kinda wanna just look through all of these keywords, and I'm, maybe I'm maybe I have something specific in mind. Maybe I don't, but you know, let's say I, I like, let's say I don't, I don't want anything in Georgia. So let me actually filter out uh, anything from Georgia. Um, let's do an exclude keywords, uh, broad match. Let's get rid of Georgia and GA, let's try that. Oh, whoops, put that there. So I'm gonna put in a pretty pretty simple filter to get rid of anything that's you know Georgia specific because that's not really relevant to what I'm doing. Um, okay, well, okay, I have these, let's say I really like marketing video production. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna check that because at the end of the day, I'm gonna add it to a keyword analyzer tool. So basically this is your raw uh, keyword list. And then obviously you don't, you don't need all of these, so you only want the ones that you want. So I'm gonna check all the boxes for the ones that I do want, or I'll click on this little add to keyword analyzer right there. Now it's added to my keyword analyzer, which if I go up here to add to key A, it'll bring me to my uh, keyword analyzer, or uh, go to keyword analyzer to go there. Um, <clears throat> So I'm interested in marketing video production. I do want to know more about video marketing statistics because I think that's worth creating content on. I think that's something that people are interested in. Definitely video marketing strategy and video content marketing, uh, video marketing services, social media video marketing, uh, create marketing videos, video email marketing. So you kind of get the idea of, you know, I'm really interested in all of these keywords. I'm going to add those to the keyword analyzer. And then I'm gonna actually go to the keyword analyzer. And so this will give me a filtered list of all of the keywords uh, that I was actually interested in. I'm gonna update all of these metrics just real quick, just so I have a better understanding um, of what I'm actually looking at at the end of the day. And this could take some time depending on how many 
keywords you have within your keyword analyzer tool. So you can just, you know, update it, leave it, come back later or start, you know, doing some other keyword research, whether that be, you know, maybe go into Google ads or um, some other, you know, Moz or Ahrefs or something like that. If you like other SEO tools. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. So this is all of our updated information. Um, and it kind of gives me a better idea of, you know, I can export this and I can send it to people on my editorial team. Maybe they asked me to do some basic keyword research on, you know, a blog post or a pillar page that we were gonna make on video marketing. And I can kind of give them a better idea of, you know, what people are really searching for, what kind of traffic we're looking at and really how hard is it going to be at the end of the day if we wanted to rank on, you know, create marketing videos, which has a keyword difficulty of 77 versus, you know, video marketing services, which has a keyword difficulty of 56. So much easier to rank for um, if you wanted to go for that. Um, so that's the keyword magic tool. Again, if you just wanted to export it, you just click on this export button. You can export as uh, Excel or CSV file and you can rename the list if you want to. I'm just gonna gear icon up here, rename list and just type in maybe something like video marketing. Uh, so that's when you go back to your keyword magic tool, you actually see video marketing here instead of, you know, list 29. Um, <clears throat> so that's how you would do some pretty, pretty basic keyword research, but you can also do some uh, domain analytics uh, to basically plug in, you know, something like, let's enter in directdevelopment.com. And so this will basically pull in a lot of information on what it what SEMrush can find uh, in terms of direct development based on you know how many keywords do you rank for how much traffic is it estimating we get you know how much of that is branded like you know they're actually using direct development in the search and how much of that isn't actually um, branded and so we get to see some top organic keywords this is actually a really cool tool again this is all under domain analytics organic research view all 228 organic keywords. And this kind of gives me a list of, okay, this is what we're ranking for. This is, you know, this is what's driving traffic. This is what people are searching to get to the direct development site or, you know, some specific page on the direct development site. So obviously Tony Frega is top of the list, anything with direct development. And we're actually fifth in hired marketing. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's pretty good. And then there's a lot more other you know, specific keywords that we're ranking on you know, other pages for. So this is a really good place to go to figure out what you're currently ranking for, and also a really good place to figure out what uh, you can improve on. If you really, really want to rank on, you know, higher ed direct marketing, you know, you know you're in position five, and you know that, you know, the keyword difficulty is right here, it's 49, so technically it's not super difficult, so it's a matter of continuing to create really, you know, high quality content at a consistent pace all around, you know, higher ed direct marketing. Again, you know, maybe this isn't something that we want to be winning on, maybe it is. So you can kind of just take a glance through all of this and figure out, you know, what's worth uh, dedicating uh, time and energy into winning on. Um, so that's domain analytics. And we talked about keyword research, both pretty basic tools. At the end of the day, you're just plugging in a keyword or your domain and really just looking through a lot of data and doing a lot of research into figuring out what's worth doing and what's not worth doing.